Tonight, we look to the skies over Southeast Asia, where the Philippine Air Force stands on the brink of transformation. The KF-21 Boramai, a sleek, twin-engine jet, could soon become the new guardian of the Philippine archipelago. This isn't just another plane, it's a leap forward for a nation determined to defend its sovereignty. For years, the Air Force has struggled with aging equipment, but now, true modernization is within reach, as tensions simmer in the West Philippine Sea. The arrival of such a platform could change everything. It sends a clear message. The Philippines is serious about defending its home. The story of the KF-21 in the Philippines is just beginning. High above the rainforest, the Philippine Eagle soars, a symbol of national strength and resilience. Now, a new partner joins it in the sky, the KF-21 Boramai, the young falcon. Just as the eagle commands respect in nature, the Boramai is designed to command respect in contested airspace. For Filipinos, the KF-21 is more than a fighter jet. It's a promise of a stronger, more secure future. The idea of a young falcon protecting the home of the great eagle resonates deeply. Imagine young Filipinos, inspired by the Boramai's power, dreaming of becoming pilots and defenders of their nation. National symbols are born not just in nature, but in the hangars and skies. The narrative of the eagle and the falcon is one of transformation, from vulnerability to credible deterrence. The KF-21 offers to be the guardian of the eagle's environment, a modern shield against threats. This powerful combination captures the essence of the Philippines today. Proud of its past, eyes fixed on the future, the falcon is poised to help the eagle soar freely once more. A new era of pride and protection is on the horizon. The Philippine Air Force's history is a tale of highs and lows. After World War II, the PAF was among Asia's best-equipped air forces, flying advanced jets and earning regional respect. But economic challenges led to a decline. Aging aircraft and shrinking budgets left the PAF vulnerable. The retirement of the F-5 fighters in 2005 created a critical gap. No supersonic fighters for nearly a decade. The Air Force relied on older, slower planes, just as regional tensions over maritime disputes began to rise. Modernization began with the acquisition of FA-50PH jets from South Korea, restoring supersonic capability and boosting morale. New transports, helicopters and surveillance systems followed, rebuilding strength piece by piece. Today the PIAF is on an upward trajectory but planners know the FA-50s are just a stepping stone. To establish credible defense the Philippines needs a more advanced, multi-role fighter. Enter the KF-21 Boramai, a massive leap in the PAF's modernization journey. Moving from the FA-50 to the KF-21 is like graduating from college to a doctoral program. It's the culmination of years of planning and ambition. The PAF aims to reclaim its place as a premier air arm in the region. What sets the KF-21 Boramai apart? It's a four and a half generation fighter, just below the most advanced stealth jets. The Block II variant excels as a true multi-role platform, air-to-air -air combat, precision strikes, and more. Its advanced ASA radar tracks multiple targets with speed and accuracy while remaining hard to detect or jam. The IRST system lets it spot enemy aircraft by heat signature, without revealing its own position. Stealth features reduce its radar cross-section making it harder to target. For the Philippine Air Force this means greater survivability in contested airspace. The Block II's internal weapons bay enhances stealth by carrying munitions inside. Multi-role flexibility means one jet can switch missions mid-flight, air superiority, ground attack, or maritime strike. This efficiency is crucial for a country with a limited defense budget. The KF-21 Block II is more than a fighter, it's a comprehensive combat system. Speed, stealth, advanced sensors, and mission flexibility, all in one package. It offers capabilities the PAF has only dreamed of. The Boramai is a game-changer for Philippine defense. The Philippines, with its vast coastline and rich resources, faces persistent maritime disputes in the West Philippine Sea. Current aircraft provide surveillance but lack the deterrent power needed. The KF-21 Boramai would change this dynamic. Its speed, range, and sensors allow a powerful presence over contested waters. Boramais could reach hot spots like the Spratly Islands quickly investigate threats, and provide top cover for naval forces. Their presence alone would force potential aggressors to think twice. Armed with long-range missiles, the KF-21 could establish air superiority and threaten hostile ships from a safe distance. This anti-access area denial capability creates a protective bubble around Fulbright. Tripitori 
Beyond combat, the Boromai's radar enhances maritime domain awareness, tracking vessels, combating illegal fishing, and piracy. Real-time information empowers the government to respond to a range of challenges. For the Philippines, the KF-21 isn't just about winning a fight, it's about preventing one. By raising the cost of aggression, it makes conflict less likely. The Boromai is a shield for the nation's future. It's a deterrent that could redefine security in the region. Southeast Asia's skies are crowded with advanced fighters. Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Vietnam all field modern jets. The Philippine Air Force has lagged behind, relying on lighter, less capable aircraft. Acquiring the KF-21 Block II would level the playing field, placing the PAF among the region's most advanced air forces. The Boromai's radar, stealth, and long-range munitions would make it a formidable presence. This strengthens the Philippines' defensive posture and enhances its value as a security partner to allies like the US, Japan, and Australia. Military strength boosts diplomatic influence, allowing the Philippines to engage from a position of confidence. Deeper cooperation, joint exercises, intelligence sharing becomes possible. The message, the Philippines is no longer a soft target, but a committed contributor to regional stability. However, this shift must be managed carefully to avoid provoking neighbors. The acquisition should be framed as a step for self-defense, not aggression. The goal, a stable deterrent, not an arms race. The KF-21 gives the Philippines a stronger voice in the region. How it uses that voice will shape Southeast Asia's future. Acquiring the KF-21 Boromai is a complex, expensive undertaking. The cost goes far beyond the jets. Sophisticated weapons, spare parts, upgraded hangars, and runways are all required. Sustained political will and careful planning are essential. The human element is critical. Pilots and crews need rigorous training, likely with South Korean support. Maintenance teams must master new systems, from avionics to stealth materials. Logistics are a challenge. Reliable supply chains for parts and munitions are vital. Local maintenance facilities may be needed to keep the fleet operational. Integrating the KF-21 into command networks and processing its data will require new infrastructure. These hurdles are substantial, but not insurmountable. Success demands a whole-of-government approach and long-term commitment. Other nations have faced similar challenges and succeeded. The Philippines can learn from their experience. The path is demanding, but the rewards are great. The decision to pursue the KF-21 Barame is about more than military strategy. It's a statement of national identity. For a country shaped by colonization, defending its own territory is deeply emotional. Acquiring the Barame is a symbol of self-determination and pride. It signals that the Philippines is investing in its own future. The sight of a Boromai in Philippine colors would boost morale nationwide. This move helps heal the wounds of a past where the country struggled to defend its interests. It fosters unity and a sense of shared purpose. A stronger Philippines is a more credible partner for allies. By building its own capacity, the nation transforms dependency into genuine partnership. The KF-21 is a bet on Filipino skill, talent, and willpower. It's more than a machine. It's a vessel for national aspirations. The Boromai embodies the Philippines' determination to chart its own course. The KF-21 Boromai presents a classic security dilemma for the Philippines. On one hand, it's a logical step for credible defense and regional stability. By raising the cost of aggression, it acts as a deterrent and enforcer of international law. A stronger, self-reliant Philippines can be a stabilizing force in Southeast Asia. The Boromai enables deeper cooperation with allies, strengthening collective defense. Its advanced systems could integrate seamlessly into allied networks. But regional rivals may see the acquisition as provocative, potentially fueling an arms race. The key is balance, deterrence without escalation. Diplomacy and clear communication are essential to manage perceptions. The goal enhanced security without threatening others. The Boromai's arrival could mark a new era of stability, or spark new competition. The choice and its consequences will shape the region for decades. The world is watching as the Philippines takes this pivotal step.